Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. This is Zach over at Envy Woodworks. So today we're going to be making a resin cast jack-o'-lantern. So stay tuned, let's get started. All right guys, so today we're going to be making a resin cast jack-o'-lantern. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be fun and we're actually going to carve it. So the idea for this project came about when my wife and I were walking through the grocery store and they had all these, you know, like the plastic pumpkin buckets that, you know, like the kids carry around and you put the candy in. They're everywhere at Halloween and I thought, oh, it would be really cool to use that as a mold and then actually, you know, cast a pumpkin and then actually carve it out. It'd be kind of a cool project. So we did that. We cast the pumpkin blank on the live stream a couple weeks ago. So there's a link on the screen here and down in the show notes. I'm not sure which corner. One of the corners up there you can click on or down in the show notes if you want to watch the, the replay of the entire casting process. But at this point, we, we got the blank cast. So now the next step is we need to demold it and then get to work on the pumpkin. So let's get to it. Well, all right, Mr. Pumpkin's looking awesome. Uh, this is exactly what I was going for. All of the detail on the outside is perfect. We got no voids or bubbles or weird stuff going on. So uh, that's exactly what I wanted. Now, I don't have to touch the outside. It is done, basically. The next step is we need to get a glue block on the bottom of this and then hollow out the center. Now, I'm a little bit bummed that I ended up not getting this centered at all. Like, it's way off. So that's gonna make things go a little slower when we're hollowing, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so we'll get this mounted on the lathe and start working on that. And then afterwards, we will actually carve out the eyes, nose, and mouth like a real pumpkin. That's actually kind of the fun part of this project that I had in my head. So uh, let's get it mounted on the lathe and start hollowing this thing out. Well, as you can probably see, the blank is pretty out of round. Uh, I didn't get that cup centered very well when I was pouring the blank, and I'm kind of paying for it now. It would have been a lot faster uh, getting through this hollowing part had I had gotten that cup centered a little bit better. Not a big deal. It's just, you know, I got to keep the speeds low and take really light cuts, and I'm just going to keep chipping away at this until we get everything kind of evened out. Uh, I don't plan to do too much hollowing. I, I really didn't plan to do a whole lot at all. This is actually going to make me do more, take off more material probably than I actually wanted to originally, but not a big deal. Just got to put the patient hat on and keep chipping away at this. So we'll probably speed up the footage a little bit. There's not a lot going on here. So I'm just going to kind of, we'll zoom through and kind of skip ahead and we'll check back in once I've gotten things kind of cleaned up on this. All right, we got it all hollowed out and it's looking pretty good at this point, I think. I got everything, you know, the hollowing is how I wanted it. We got the bottom flattened. Now I gotta be honest, that was pretty tedious. Uh, being so off balance, you had to go so slow with the speeds of the lathe and take such light cuts that, you know, it, it was a little tedious, but I didn't run into any problems. There was no no issues or anything like that. Just, just took some time, you know? So the next step, I just wanna kinda of lightly clean up the inside. I don't really wanna put a lot of work on the inside because I don't really care that much what it looks like. It's the outside really that matters. 
I'm just gonna kind of clean up some of these tool marks and then hit it with a, a top coat finish. And then uh, we'll move on to what I was really looking forward to on this project was carving out our pumpkin. So let's get this thing sanded, get a finish on the inside, and then we'll start carving Mr. Pumpkin up. So to carve this, I came up with a two-step process. I'm going to use a drill and I'm going to use a rotary tool carving thing. Uh, so the first step is going to be with a drill and I'm going to use brad point bits so that it doesn't wander when I'm starting it out. I don't want it scratching up the outsides. I want everything else to hopefully remain intact, perfect. Uh, and I'm just trying to waste out some material. So I'm going to go with a, a kind of smaller diameter bit for corners. I'm going to start there and try and kind of get some material taken out at the corners, then switch to a larger bit and just try to waste out as much material as possible. Then once I've gotten that done, I'm gonna just carve away. Right, guys i just want to stop real quick and give you my initial reactions my thoughts on this uh you know carving thing and it is really fun i'm having a blast uh, i definitely think this is something that a lot of people would enjoy doing um, now i bought this unit specifically with something like this in mind a couple of years ago and i just never actually did anything with it you know it sat in a drawer for a couple of years and uh, i'm glad that i was able to pull it out for this project because it is really fun now it is a little bit time consuming. You're not gonna you know, zip through this and do all that, but I gotta be honest, the process is super relaxing. You can just kind of zone out, you know, have at it. Um, the little football shaped tip that I'm using is not grabby or anything. You got a lot of control. So it's definitely fun. I definitely think that other people would have a blast doing this. There's lots of different types of projects, whether it's, uh, you know, resin or wood or hybrid things. Lots of different applications for this. So uh, definitely if you got a Dremel or, you know, if you got something like this or a Fordham or, you know, any kind of rotary tool, it doesn't really matter. Um, give it a shot. Try this out. I think you guys will enjoy it. Now, before we get back to carving, I also wanted to kind of mention a little safety tip. You might notice that I got my dust collector hose sitting here. And this is something that I don't usually do. I'll just, I'll throw a mask on and I usually turn a fan on, but this, all it's doing is creating super fine dust. And you really wanna try and you know collect as much of it at the source as possible. 
Um, whether you have a dust collector in your shop, shop or not, um, you know, you could just bring a shop vac up. Um, something that'll kind of suck the, the, the fine particles, you know, at the source as much as possible, but it's still not going to collect all of it. So definitely wear a mask and uh, be careful after you're done. Um, that's something that a lot of people don't really think about is, you know, you kind of stop, you know, stop the tool and turn the dust collector off. There's still going to be lots of super fine particles kind of floating around in your shop. And that's actually the most dangerous stuff. So, you know, make sure you give your shop a good, you know, half hour to an hour at least to kind of settle down before you pull off your mask and just walk around breathing. Um, the other thing I recommend is, you know, pick up one of those air filter units uh, for shops for like wood dust and, and fine particles. I'm running that as, as well as my dust collector and having a mask. Um, and, and there's still stuff kind of floating around. So just be careful when you're, you know, doing stuff like this, the fine dust particles, it doesn't matter if it's resin, wood or anything else, you don't want to be breathing that stuff. So with that said, let's get back to the carving and have a little bit of fun with this jack-o'-lantern. Well, all right, we got it all finished up. Let's put a candle in it and see how it looks.
guys, I can't wait to put this up for Halloween. It turned out really good. I'm happy with how everything turned out on it. Um, the only hiccup I'd say along the way was, was getting that cup off center that just added a little bit of extra work and, and kind of time to the project. But overall, everything went pretty well as planned, I would say in my head, and I'm really happy with it. It turned out exactly how I wanted. I really had a good time doing the carving. That was so much fun. So what did you guys think of this project? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, are you thinking about making something like this? Or did it spark an idea for a project for you? Let me know what you guys have on your minds, you know, things that you might make after seeing this project. I think that there's a lot of cool stuff that you could do with that carving technique. You know, you could hollow out, you know, like vessels or anything. It doesn't have to be a jack-o'-lantern like this, uh, but you could hollow something out and then carve in some patterns on the sides. You could even just use the carving to add some kind of texturing to the outside of things. I think there's a lot of really cool uses that you could have for this, and I want to know what you guys think about it. So I hope everybody has a safe and really fun Halloween. Go out there and get some candy. If this is your first time on my channel, we do all kinds of resin casting projects, tips and tricks, and experiments around here. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified when new videos get posted. And if you're thinking about getting into resin casting, but you're not really sure where to begin, check out my ebook, The Beginner's Guide to Resin Casting. It answers all those beginner questions, like what do I need to get started? How does it all work? It'll help you get over that initial learning curve so you can get in the shop and start making some casting projects like the one in today's video. It's available on my website if you're interested. So until next time, guys, happy Halloween and happy casting.